Okay, welcome to the Minnesota, Minnesota Association for College and Mission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We're so excited that you're here and participating in this event. We have some really great schools here with us today. My name is Layla and I will be your facilitator. And before we get started, I have a few housekeeping uh, notes for you all. Your camera and microphone are off so our panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button to type questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to uh, check the schedule on the website. And this session is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Minnesota. For your information, each of our colleges will be presenting for a total of six minutes each. Uh, and we'll start off here with the University of North Dakota. If you have more questions for our panelists after they've presented, uh, they will be sharing their contact information as well. And with that, I'll turn it over to University of North Dakota. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel. I am going to be sharing my screen. I will be sharing just a quick little couple PowerPoint slides. Um, so the University of North Dakota, we are located in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, we are known for a variety of different majors. Um, we are the only medical school and law school in the state. Uh, we are, have a very large school of aerospace that holds eight, or excuse me, um, holds our commercial aviation. So helicopter and fixed winged. Uh, we have unmanned aircraft systems, air traffic control, aviation management, and atmospheric sciences. We also have eight different engineering programs. Our most popular come from mechanical engineering, chemical, civil, some unique ones are biomedical, petroleum, um, geological. Um, we have around 225 areas of study. Um, you can see some of our top programs are there in the corner, um, as mentioned, engineering, aviation, and those are some of the others that are popular. We have about 14,000 students in total. Um, so we are about a mid-sized range university. Um, we have about, 20 to 25 students per class. So it is small and intimate. Uh, one thing that UND is known for is our hands-on learning experiences. So we really want our students to know what it's going to be like to be an engineering uh, major right away their freshman year. So uh, you'll be making some type of prototype your freshman year. Uh, you'll be flying right away your freshman year. Uh, you'll be in some type of labs if you're pre-med uh, right away your freshman year. And we are also a research-based institution. So if you would like to get involved into some type of research uh, that is available to you as early as your freshman year. In addition to our academics, uh, we know that you uh, are busy and want to be involved in other things. So we have tons of opportunities for you to get involved. We have over 240 different student organizations. Um, some of them can be related to your major or they can be non-related, they can be service related. Uh, we have uh, student government, we have a variety of um, honors programs, we have performing arts, um, you don't have to be in, like a music major to be in like the choirs or the band or the marching band, um, so those are all available. We are a D1 school, so we have all D1 athletics. Our most popular is our men's hockey program. We also have basketball, football, soccer, things like that. They are all free for you to attend as a student uh, with the exception with, of men's hockey. It's about a $10 ticket, so it's pretty easy to get to. Um, the rink is right on campus. Uh, Greek life is a pretty big thing at UND as well. We have 13 fraternities and seven sororities, and we are welcoming back um, study abroad programs. Uh, freshmen are required to live in the dorms their first year, so we have two different styles. The first one is a community cluster, which is a classic uh, format that many universities have. Our unique uh, dorm is our suite, which is a two bed, um, which two people will reside in each room. And then instead of sharing your bathroom with the entire floor, you have your own private bathroom that um, four individuals will share. That is no additional cost. It's the exact same um, price point as uh, the community cluster, except you have the, the bonus of your own private bathroom. We do have some learning living communities. So if you wanna live with you know, students in your major or have similar interests, we do have those. 
Uh, we do have brand new freshman dorms opening next fall. So if you're a junior, you're definitely coming in at the right time uh, where new dorms will be available for you to choose from. Admission, we have waived the ACT requirement for our current seniors. Uh, to be admitted to UND, we're looking for a 2.75 GPA. Most of our applicants are directly admitted to their program. So if you want to be a chemistry major or a psychology major, if you have that minimum GPA, you're automatically admitted to your program. The only exception is our aviation and nursing. Um, aviation, we're looking for at least a 3.0. And nursing, you will apply to that school your sophomore year. You can apply online or um, we are available on the Common App. These are just a few of our direct freshman scholarships. Um, if you have that minimum GPA, we would automatically give you that dollar amount. Otherwise, we have over 800 different types of scholarships you can apply to once you're admitted. Um, and it's a really one easy application for all 800 scholarships. Uh, lastly, we do have a brand new student union that just opened last month. Um, it is a great space for students to hang out in. It has a full um, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Panda Express, has a theater and rooftop terrace, which our students are very much enjoying right now. Our library just got updates and we have a brand new business school opening next fall. And as I mentioned, um, we have brand new freshman dorms coming in as well. So lots of construction right now, but for current juniors and seniors are coming in at, at a really great time um, to have brand new facilities for you to study in. I will drop my email and contact info in the chat. So if anyone has additional questions, they can reach out to me directly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Cornish College of the Arts. Hi, everybody. I'm Sharon Starling. I'm just going to get this presentation mode up. OK, so I'm Sharon Starling. I'm the director of admission at Cornish College of the Arts. We're located in Seattle, Washington, and we are a college of all visual and performing art majors. I also have my colleague Alexis here with me today and she can answer questions in the chat and she'll probably be dropping some videos in there for you as well. Whenever I talk to students and families, I always like to take just a really brief moment to address the elephant in the room, which is why in the world would you study the arts in college? You'll be poor and starving your whole life and you will always be living at home with your parents. And um, this may not be you, but if you have friends that are thinking about the arts, um, I would like to share that data support studying the arts in college. Um, and we have some great data points from the Strategic National Arts Alumni Project, which was done out of Indiana University. A couple of points that I really like to bring forth, they surveyed over 200,000 young alumni um, who were recent college grads up through 20 and 25 years out. Um, these alumni had jobs, they had jobs related to their major, they started their own companies, they are using the skill sets they built as artists in critical thinking and creative problem solving. 70% of them still work in creative fields, 85% said they would highly recommend this pathway, and my personal favorite is that 80% love their work. And so if you are out there thinking, I kind of want to study the arts, but I'm afraid, do not be afraid. If you go to schools like Cornish or Minneapolis College of Art and Design, which is also presenting tonight, these are the kinds of educational programs that help you be successful in the artistic and creative fields. Um, the mission of Cornish College of the Arts is to educate artists, citizens, and innovators. And we do this by offering baccalaureate degrees in both the visual and the performing arts. Our majors range from art and design to animation, game art, film, music, theater, dance, um, a bachelor of music degree, and then some new BA degrees for transfer students specifically. Um, just in case those letters maybe are not familiar, if you see that a degree is a bachelor of fine arts, it's a very concentrated degree. It's a direct entry into the major, six to eight hours of artistic coursework every day and then spreading out the academic classes over all four years. So a student might only take one or two academic classes at a time. Everything else is re related to the studio work. Um, whereas in a more traditional BA program, you spend a lot of time at the beginning 
doing the general ed courses and then choosing a major for years three and four. Cornish is over 100 years old. We were founded by a woman back in a point in Seattle's history when it was no nothing really but a logging community. Um, and Nellie did have this vision for a school or a center of the arts where both visual and performing arts would coexist, where students would try new and innovative things, where faculty would be professionals. We've graduated um, and hosted some luminaries of both the 20th and the 21st century on campus. The curriculum is built upon traditional work, but it is designed to be interdisciplinary and experimental. Our curriculum also helps students build critical thinking skills, creative problem solving skills. They are collaborative and they are generative. So we don't just recreate Swan Lake every year or Macbeth. We are actually writing and creating new work in addition to celebrating the traditional. Our goal is to help you build a sustainable future in the arts. We do this by having faculty or all working professional artists. We bring in visiting artist masters to do master classes and workshops. We have small class sizes. We're under 600 students. It's a very intentional community with a lot of personalized instruction. We are in the center of Seattle and Seattle is an amazing city for young emerging artists to be a part of. You have world-class visual arts, opera, ballet, theater, new theater. Uh, the Fifth Avenue Theater is known for creating a lot of the new works you see on Broadway. A um, couple of recent ones, Aladdin, Mrs. Doubtfire, Catch Me If You Can, uh, Spring Awakening, come from away, all premiered in Seattle before they went to Broadway. And many of our students and alumni and faculty have been involved in those. We have 12 buildings in our urban neighborhood, um, which is the South Lake Union section of Seattle. It's right at the north edge of downtown. Um, amazing creative and performing art spaces. What, what you don't see at Cornish is the football stadium or the hockey field or the um, Regrow, it's all about making and creating and sharing the art. Uh, Cornish Commons is our state of the art residence hall. It opened in 2015, it's 20 stories tall. Um, each room has its own bathroom and two roommates, workout facilities, art making space, practice rooms, movement studios. It was really built with artists in mind. Our application process is is typical at the beginning in that there's an application, high school transcript, uh, personal statement, letter of recommendation. We've always been test optional. And part two for us is an audition or a portfolio review. Uh, we did go virtual and online for 2021, and we will do that for 2022 as well. Couple dates and deadlines if you are a senior. December 1 is the early action, non-binding deadline. We will get you a decision sent by mid-December, priority deadline February 15th. Uh, decisions are sent on a rolling basis after that. And uh, we do use the FAFSA. It opened October 1, so you can fill that out at any point in time. And my last slide deals with our tuition reset. Um, private independent colleges can be expensive, but in 2019, our president and his cabinet made the decision to actually lower tuition. We did a reset and lowered it 20%. And we did that to create um, more access to reduce long-term student debt and to appeal to a wider range of students. You Thank can find out more at cornish.edu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our next presenter is Southeast Technical College. All right. Uh, others, who's, okay. Get my screen up here. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, my name is Joe Weber. I'm an admissions rep at Southeast Tech in Sioux Falls, your neighbors to the West. Um, sorry. So we're a small technical school in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, we opened in 1968 and now have our campus out in, um, sorry, get through some of these here. 
In Sioux Falls, the Northwest, so we have all the amenities of Sioux Falls. Um, we are career focused education. So we offer two year associate and one year diploma programs in uh, business, construction, early childhood, you can read. Um, we are very hands-on. Uh, we're all about getting you in, training you in the career field that you want to work in and getting you out working quickly and making money quickly. Um, you know, I like to talk to students all the time that college is a vehicle. It's, a, it's not a destination. It, it is your transportation to your career and what you're looking to get into. And that's what we do and that's what we specialize in is career focused education. We're about 2,300 students in total. Uh, we sit outside, like I said, Northwest Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, we have very skills relevant facilities, which I'll get into in a minute. We do offer housing or uh, dining on campus, but it is not mandatory. So um, our grill uh, where we offer food, you pay as you go. So we're not gonna charge you for a meal plan. We like to really focus on not nickel and diming you over every little thing at Southeast Tech. We offer free parking. Uh, the food is optional. You don't have to buy a meal plan. The uh, living on campus is optional. You don't have to live on campus if you don't want to. Um, but on the flip side, we offer some amazing services and support that all the big schools offer you. You know, we have career services to help you find that job. In fact, in 2020, we were at 98% job placement for our graduates. We had 35 programs that were over 100% job placement. Um, so our students are getting jobs. There's also ways to get involved with the activities and events and have a good time. Um, and then our housing. So we do offer housing on campus. We have 54 apartments. They are four bedroom apartments. They are not dorms. You will not have a bunk mate. You have your own bedroom with a door that locks, your own private space. Um, you share a bathroom with one other student, a living room and a kitchen with three other students. So four bedroom two bath apartments and they're very reasonably priced, especially for the cost of living in Sioux Falls. Uh, that $2,600 per semester includes everything, your internet, your garbage, utilities, you will not have to pay a monthly bill besides your cell phone or your car payments. So our students that live on campus really do enjoy it, but you wanna get in early because we do fill up. Um, we fill up very quickly. The facilities that we offer students at Southeast Tech um, are amazing. They're skills relevant. What we mean by that is what you see at Southeast Tech is what you're going to see um, in industry. It's what our industry partners have really envisioned in their minds for training programs and getting you in and seeing the same facilities at school as you do at work. So that way you don't just have uh, a college degree when you leave Southeast Tech, you have work experience, um, which is what a lot of employers are working for. I could tell you not just as a presenter and as an employee of Southeast Tech, I'm also a graduate. I went to Southeast Tech, I believe in what we do. And this right here is our number one, our faculty care. They're all industry experienced, if not still working in industry while teaching you. Um, they really care about their students and we offer small class sizes with lots of one-on-one -on -one interaction with your faculty and lots of hands-on training. It is 100% hands down what Southeast Tech does best in taking care of their students. So why are our students successful? Well, learning by doing, number one, we get in there in the first week of classes, you're in the labs, you're touching things, you're seeing things, you're doing things, you're not listening to lectures, endless lectures over and over. Um, you're actually doing it. We keep our class sizes small. And the number one thing that all prospective college students should be thinking about is cost. How much am I spending on my degree and what is my return on investment? Because that's what college is. It's an investment in yourself. And our students on average pay about $17,000, 17,500 for a two-year degree that earns a very good living where you can see a four-year school on average um, is gonna cost you quite a bit more. Um, and we talk about, so how do we get that cost? Um, lowered even more scholarship opportunities. Number one scholarship opportunity in the state of South Dakota and all of you Minnesota students are very much uh, eligible for is the Build Dakota Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a full ride scholarship. We're gonna pay for everything, your books, supplies, tuition. If your uh, program requires uniforms, we're gonna pay for those. You will leave school with no student debt at all. In return, <laughs> you promise to live and work in the state of South Dakota for three years after you graduate. 
So it's a pretty good deal for three short years. Think about juniors, how fast did it take to where you're at right now? Seniors, high school's almost over. Probably still feels like you're a freshman. Three short years, you have no student debt, a great job, and unlimited potential for the future. And same thing, we are FAFSA friendly. So all the FAFSA, fill that out. And with that, you guys, I would really encourage you to check out our website. I'll share that later. And um, I will go ahead and hand it off to the next school. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter oops, sorry, is Northern Michigan University. Hi everyone, my name is Erica. I am from Northern Michigan University. I'm really excited that you are all here today, for, so thank you for coming. Northern is located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, so we are right along the shore of Lake Superior. We celebrate all four seasons in Marquette, and our natural setting makes for amazing outdoor experiences, academic and recreational, all year round. Many of our students love the outdoors, but you don't have to in order to thrive here. So Marquette is safe, um, and Northern are both safe, friendly, and welcoming. We are a mid-sized institution, so we're large enough where we have a lot of programs to choose from, a strong alumni network, connections around the world, um, nice facilities, but small enough where you have small class sizes and your professors know your name. Um, so the average class size is about 28, the average lab and seminar sizes are about 15, and this gives your professors the ability to get to know you on a personal level. Uh, those close relationships result in mentorship and guidance as you move through your experience at Northern and on to whatever you're going to do next, whether that's grad school or joining the professional world. We have over 170 different academic programs to choose from. So we have some popular programs related to our natural setting, like fisheries and wildlife management, environmental studies and sustainability, but also things like nursing, art and design, criminal justice, sports science, and a large array of business programs, as well as medicinal plant chemistry, which um, is the first program of its kind in the US. Um, but you get hands-on learning um, right away, hands-on experience to help you find out what you love so you can get more specific or what you hate so you can change your mind and um, pivot to something that's a better fit for you. You're working with real people in professional settings, the real equipment um, in the real world with real resources so that when you leave Northern, you're well prepared to uh, take your next steps in grad school or whatever adventure you're about to go on. So Northern is a welcoming space for students from all backgrounds, beliefs, and experiences. And we're an institution that emphasizes access to higher education. So there are no test scores, no essays, and no letters of recommendation as part of the application. We offer tons of first-generation college student resources, and there's a lot of academic and emotional support like academic support programming, tutoring, disability services, counseling, all to facilitate student success. So uh, your experience outside of the classroom is a really important piece of your college education. So when you feel connected and like you're contributing um, to your experience and your perspective to your community, you're happier and you do better in the classroom. So I already mentioned that our students are outside all year round. There's tons to experience indoors too. So there's over 300 student organizations. Um, there's academic and non-academic, special interest. There's also leadership programs. So some of those are credit bearing and come with a stipend. There's tons of community service and volunteering opportunities. All these are really big part of identity at Northern. There's also um, events that are happening on campus that are gonna keep you busy as a spectator or a participant. So the arts, um, but also athletics. So we have, um, we're a D2 school and we have sports that are ranging from esports to football. So esports being a varsity sport that grants scholarships. Um, and then we also have intramural club sports too. So let's talk about finances. This is an important piece uh, for all families. Um, it's an important factor. So for our out-of-state students, tuition and fees and room and board amount to around $29,240 per year. The average financial aid package for students is around $12,300. Um, that financial aid package can include things like our Wildcat Merit Scholarships. That brings that out-of-state tuition much closer to in-state. We also have competitive scholarship opportunities, including our um, presidential scholars competition with awards ranging from $1,000 to a full ride, as well as of other free money opportunities that students can apply for. I also want to mention that a laptop is included in tuition with access to Northern's LTE network and uh, across the UP. So um, I don't think it's a secret that the world is at a pivotal point. So um, there's so much that's coming to a head right now in the US and all over the world. 
and you are going to change the world and we need you to change the world. At Northern, we really want to give you the tools to do that. Our alumni are out making an impact and we know that you are gonna do the same. So we wanna help you make the biggest impact that you can. We would really love for you to come and visit uh, Northern and learn more about us. We're offering virtual and on-campus visit opportunities. I can only talk about so much in six minutes. So if any of this resonates with you, please come check us out, um, experience this place for yourself, however you're able to do that. You can scan the QR code here to get more information from Northern. Again, I'm Erica. I work with students from Minnesota. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Carthage College. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Rocco Lamacchia, and I am the Director of Admissions and Financial Aid at Carthage College. I also work with all students from the great state of Minnesota. Uh, here is a nice aerial shot of campus uh, to give you an idea of how uh, much space and uh, that we have here on campus. We are located right on beautiful Lake Michigan. This uh, picture really oh, doesn't Rocco, do it justice. Just, just to let you know, you're not in presenter mode yet. We're not I seeing know. it. Ah, okay, good to know. And how do I get there? I should have practiced, huh? Um, if at the very bottom of your screen, there's like a little, the very right, there's a little, um, it looks like a presenter, like a, like a screen, kind of next to the Zoom. Yeah, right, that one, yep. Okay, are you seeing it now? Uh, well, now we're seeing it with your notes. So actually go up to display settings up top. And then, oh dear, uh, hmm, does anybody else know? Not what? a problem. What I can do is I can just, uh, I can just go through. That's not, that's not a big deal. So um, okay. I don't want to waste everybody's time. Okay, here, so. go on. I'll, I'll, just, just, I'll just jump in. Sounds good. <laughs> I actually good. Um, didn't know that it was only going to be six minutes today. So I, um, and this is, I normally have a lot more to present. So I'm going to try okay. to get down here and I'll, and I'll I'll kind of restart you here a little bit. No worries, no worries. Uh, so uh, Carthage College, we are located in Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, which is in the southeast portion of the state. Uh, we are right between Milwaukee and Chicago. Uh, we have over 50 programs and majors that we offer to students. Uh, but beyond that, uh, we embed certain skill sets into all of our majors, the ability to think critically, uh, solve problems, and be a wonderful communicator, both verbally and on paper. Uh, most of our incoming freshman class are kind of in that undecided space, which is which is uh, great uh, because we do allow students to start dabbling in their areas of interest right away. So if you know what you want to do, we can get you into those classes right away. Uh, if you're between a couple of different things, we're going to give you those opportunities to kind of uh, to dabble in those areas. We have tons of unique academic programs on campus. We are the only school in the state of Wisconsin that works directly with NASA and their engineers. Uh, we have a wonderful business program. We're a top Fulbright producer college, a uh, wonderful education program, and a very rigorous honors program. Um, field work, internships, uh, undergraduate research are a huge focus of ours. All 50 plus majors uh, and programs are tied to multiple uh, research opportunities and multiple internship opportunities. Again, being in the location that we are, we tap into uh, those major markets uh, for work for job placement, uh, but also for fun. And so uh, you can see that um, the public sector, private sector, for-profit, non-for-profit are all really represented on this sheet. And so even if uh, the outcome is to move out down south or out west, or even out east after a graduation, um, building those networks here in the Midwest is definitely going to open up a lot of opportunities for you. Uh, we have over 150 full-time professors on campus. Our average classroom size for us is 17. Uh, a lot of times students, you know, misconstrue that number, it, it meaning that it's going to be a smaller campus and, and not a lot of fun. Uh, but we are absolutely having uh, tons and tons of fun here, again, based off of our location. 86% of our students stick around on the weekends. We know that because, uh, because eventually our students have to eat and we're able to kind of play big brother and know who's sticking around. Uh, of that 2,700 students, 70% of those students live on campus. So that means that we have to provide 
uh, entertainment to have that work-life balance for them. We have over 140 clubs and organizations, everything from student government to Greek life, uh, intramurals, religious groups, and pre-professional organizations. We have beautiful, beautiful facilities on campus that we hope that you get a chance to see in person when you're ready to, to uh, make tours. Uh, we're doing both virtual and in-person tours. We have been really pretty much this, this entire time. Um, our facilities uh, for athletics, recreation, and fitness are second to none. Uh, every student, um, has access to these facilities without having to pay recreational fees or uh, athletic memberships. Uh, we have some wonderful sports teams. We have 28 NCAA Division III teams, uh, many of which are ranked uh, typically in the nation. Uh, this last spring, our men's volleyball team won uh, the national championship. Fine arts are just as important at Carthage. Um, I would say the three characteristics we're looking for in students, if you hold all three of these, wonderful, uh, but even just one of these is, is uh, someone that we're looking for um, uh, to be at Carthage. And that's uh, strong academically, uh, strong um, in athletics and, and very strong in, in the fine arts. And fine arts is very a general term, uh, but that includes band, choir, orchestra, theater, musical theater, dance, and so on. Actually 59% of the students involved in the fine arts at Carthage do it as non-majors. So if you play an instrument or sing in a choir and you wanna focus on pre-med, you wanna focus on um, criminal justice, you can do those things and still uh, work on things that you're passionate about. Again, we are located right between Milwaukee and Chicago. So there are tons and tons of opportunities for uh, play and work, um, which is really nice. And, and so students love that aspect that you get that small town feel on the beautiful lakefront. Uh, but being that we're in the third largest city in the state, uh, you have all the amenities that you would be looking for in a larger city. Um, we have ways to help finance uh, a private school education. Uh, we do not have an in-state, out-of-state tuition. We are a private college. Uh, but before we get into those types of conversations, you know, my de definitely would recommend applying. Applying to Carthage does not commit you to Carthage. Uh, it just allows you to have that as an option when you're ready to make that decision. Very easy application process. We need the application itself and a copy of your high school transcripts. Um, we are a test optional school, so test scores, uh, letters of recommendation, personal statements, essays are all optional. Uh, but because we work with you both for admission and financial aid. We work with the family and the student throughout the entire process. We kind of build that relationship. And so the more that we know, uh, get to, can get to know you, the more that we can help you down the road. Uh, with that being said, over $20 million in grants and scholarships are awarded annually here at Carthage. Uh, there are a number of different ways that we do that. Some of them are going to be automatic to you uh, in the forms of merit scholarships um, and other institutional aid. Other will be, uh, others will be competitive. You have the ability to apply to these. Uh, here's the real big selling point for us. Carthage knows that in education, you're going to have options, uh, but not many options will guarantee that you will finish in four years or less. And over 95% of our graduates will find gainful employment in their field or go on to the graduate school, law school, medical school of their choice. So if you'd like to find out more, uh, please uh, come and visit us. We'd love to have you on campus. Thank you so much. Our final presenter is St. Norbert College. College. Sorry about that. Have to turn on the Zoom first. All right. Uh, let me get back to that. One moment, please. All right, so hello everyone. My name is Amanda um, and I am the admission counselor that works with students from the state of Minnesota, originally from the Twin Cities. I am also an alum of St. Norbert College. So I definitely understand uh, kind of a lot of where you are all at. Um, SNC is located in De Pere, Wisconsin for those of you don't know, who don't know. So we're located about five, 10 minutes outside of Green Bay and four hours east of the Twin Cities. So as you can see, beautiful waterfront campus right in the suburbs of Green Bay. And our location is actually one of the reasons that I personally chose St. Norbert College. As you can see, we have this beautiful waterfront campus that's within walking distance of restaurants, coffee shops, boutiques, a movie theater. And then you're also only about 10 minutes away from Green Bay, 
This means that you're gonna have tons of different internship opportunities, opportunities for research at both Fortune 100, 500 companies, as well as those smaller nonprofits as well, without all of the market saturation of other schools. All right, so St. Norbert is actually the only Norbertine college in the entire country. And being Norbertine means that we're pretty unique. The Norbertines are known for the ideas of radical hospitality and communio. If you ask me, radical hospitality is definitely something that you need to experience to kind of really understand. But what it does is it creates a campus culture that is inclusive, that um, everyone feels like they're welcome. In addition to that, kind of looking at what communio means, it really uh, encourages, encourages our students to respond uh, to both the global and local needs of communities. Um, although it is not required, about 89% of our students uh, do participate in service and kind of giving back to their local communities as well. All right, so kind of looking at um, the idea of communio and our tight-knit campus community, we're about 2,000 undergraduate students and 98% of them are going to be living on campus all four years. Uh, this means that we have a very active student body um, and I don't want you to think that you'll be living in a residence hall all four years. The college actually owns uh, college houses, townhouses, as well as different apartment buildings, meaning that as you get older, your living is getting a little bit more independent. And when you're living in those townhouses on the river, it's definitely gonna be the cheapest piece of water from property that you're, you'll ever be able to afford. So just kind of know that living on campus means you're only about a five, 10 minute walk away from your classes as well, giving you really the best of both worlds. In addition, because our students are living on campus and they are very active on campus, they tend to remain there on the weekends. I know that being a four hours away from home, you're probably not gonna be going home every single weekend. And so you want people to be in the community as well. Um, in addition to this, we have over 100 different clubs and orgs on campus. Uh, these range from academic to our intramural and recreational, faith and service, special interest. My favorite is FN Cheese Club. So they try different cheeses from not only around the world, but the state of Wisconsin, as well as our Greek life and our uh, social life on campus. In addition, we have a variety of different multicultural student groups, including our STAR program, which stands for Students Taking Academic Responsibility, and are proud to be the first uh, for first-gen college students as well. Um, so lots of different things going on, lots of things for you to join in addition uh, to our campus life. Also, if you are an athlete, we are Division Three in um, our, we are a division three school, excuse me. Uh, our men's hockey team is uh, ranked nationally. We've won five national championships in um, our history and there's a lot of school spirit. Men's volleyball is our newest program in addition to swimming and diving. When it comes to academics on campus, we have over 80 plus programs to choose from. Our most popular include the health sciences, business, as well as education. Um, but we also do offer a variety of pre-professional tracks. These can include pre-law, pre-med, pre-PT, OT, PA. And when you're in these classes, you're going to be in a class that's taught by a professor. Our average class size is going to be right around 19. And this means that if you're sitting in the back of the class, it's probably going to be the third or the fourth row of the class. Um, all of our classes are also going to be capped at 30. What's really great is you are going to be the faculty's number one priority as the students. Um, there's a ton of opportunities for research and because we don't have any grad students that are working with our professors, they really are turning to their undergraduate students to assist them with this research. You'll, your first year, you'll be assigned an academic advisor and this is gonna be someone that's with you kind of throughout your entire process, someone in your field of study. If you come in undecided, um, they'll assign you a more general advisor, and then you'll be able to move into someone in your field of study. Um, students are also um, encouraged to know that we have a four-year graduation guarantee, which means that as long as you are attending your classes, you're meeting with your faculty advisor, um, and you're not failing or withdrawing from any courses, you're pretty much guaranteed to graduate as long as you declare your, your major by the middle of your sophomore year. About 60% of our students have a job in hand at graduation and then 97 are going to be employed uh, within a year of graduation and our loan default rate is only at about 1%, which means that students are getting jobs and then they're able to kind of start paying back um, their student loans. In the last 10 years, uh, we have had over $150 million in renovations 
This includes our uh, sports facilities, our library, our Mulva Family Fitness and Sports Center, as well as our Science Center. In our Science Center, it actually shares a space with the Medical College of Wisconsin Green Bay. Uh, so you have access to medical school level labs right at the undergraduate level, including our cadaver lab that we have right on campus. Um, in addition, our food is ranked number four in the nation, so you're definitely not going to go hungry. I encourage you to apply. We are a Common App School test optional for 2020. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll drop my info in the chat. So thank you very much. Okay, we have about four minutes. And if uh, all of my presenters could have uh, turned their cameras back on, we're gonna do a super, super quick round robin here. Um, elevator spiel. What is one myth that you would like to debunk about the college search process? And we'll just go in the same order, starting with University of North Dakota. Um, hi, everyone. Again, this is Rachel from UND. Um, one myth that I would say specifically for the University of North Dakota is a lot of times students do feel that um, our classes are larger than we say that they are, but we truly do, we want our, we, our classes are small. So if you're looking for that smaller experience, if you're looking for hands-on learning experiences, your classes are gonna be no more than 25 students. So um, that's one myth that I would debunk from our university. And Layla, did you want us to debunk like college myths in general or myths about our own institution? Um, debunk on the college admissions process. So oh, on I the think either process, or, yeah. You know, yep. I um, think what I might share is that there is a right college for everybody out there. And it may not be a name that you've heard of before. It may not be where your friends are going, but I would really encourage prospective students to take the risk and go to where they feel is the right place for them and not go where you feel like everybody else is expecting you to go. Uh, that's tough. I would say, you know, you never know until you try. So don't count yourself out of a school just because you think um, you didn't do that great in high school or whatever, you know, uh, try. Uh, I think a lot of us are willing to work with you if, if, if we are the right fit for you, um, there's things we can do. So don't, don't be afraid to try for that school you really want. And I would say um, a lot of times students are really worried that they need to have everything figured out. Like, what am I gonna major in and all those sorts of things, and you don't. So if you have an idea that you wanna be in the arts, you should go to a school that offers arts. If you think you wanna do something with, um, Sciences, make sure the school has some science programs, but you do not have to have it figured out. That's a big part of what college is about is figuring that out. That's a good one, Erica. That was the one I was gonna go with, but uh, I do have a backup. Uh, so I would say build a relationship with your admissions and financial aid director, right? They're, we're here to help you. Um, and so um, we do work for the college, but we really work for you and your family. And so uh, our job is to educate you uh, and give you all the tools that you need to be able to make an informed decision and just know that there is no perfect college. All right, and then finishing us out, um, at least for St. Norbert, uh, when we say we are test optional, we truly are test optional. I encourage you to send us your ACT scores. I personally will be the one reviewing your application. So it's not like if I see it, I can't unsee it. I'm going to do the best um, for you. So don't be afraid to send it. And then we can really work together to figure out if it's something we should be submitting with your application. Well, thank you uh, to all of you for doing that. I know it's hard to uh, give these bits of information in such a short amount of time. So uh, again, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you to our presenters for being here today. Uh, when this window closes, there'll be a link to a very quick five question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. We encourage you to sign up for more sessions uh, and you will be able to find this recording and many others at strivescan.com backslash Minnesota. And with that, thank you everyone. Have a wonderful night and uh, best of luck on your college search.